Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And here we are with vlog number seven, I believe. Wow. So today I'm coming to you on Thursday for the first time this week. I've uh I've just not had a very good week and just haven't had anything to say, so I'm running into the same problem that I had with doing normal color and chats. But enough of that. Um, so let's see. On well, you know what? Let's start coloring first. So I have to do two two uh, pages in this magazine this month, and I am getting very close to being finished, which is quite exciting because I've been working in this book for over a year. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now in here are not Arteza colored pencils. I'm just reusing the tin. It's wonderful. It's it's a great tin to, to use for storage. So this is where I have all my um, extra fine, uh, my extra fine permanent markers. There we go. So when when I do a pattern um, this size, anyways, I'll just I'll show you the previous one because I did I did that. Don't always do this, but for the most part I do. I pick five random colors out of here, and then I go and pick two random glitter gel pens. So this one worked out really well, and you know it really does work out well when you do this it's I think that maybe I've had one that really didn't work well but then it could have been just me and where I was placing the colors so you can watch with me well I have to close my eyes because I can see in the camera what's happening so let's go down here to the bottom and pick out this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got. Okay, so we've got Sharpies and Bix here. Ooh, and these are going to look nice together. Look at that. We have got Polynesian, nope, deep sea blue. And close to that, we have the Sharpie turquoise. Then we have two in the orange spectrum, peach parfait and your normal Sharpie orange. And then we have one of my favorite colors, lime green. I couldn't have picked these better myself. So now let's randomly pick. I have my cart over on my side here. And that's where my uh, gel pens are. They're in a, maybe if I, maybe I can bring, no, I can't bring it into the screen. What am I thinking? I'd have to put it on my desk. Okay. So you'll just have to believe that here's my, here's my hand and it's going over there to secretly pick out two glitter gel pens. So my eyes are looking straight at the camera and I've picked one. And I've picked two. So let's put them down and see what they are. Okay, this isn't too bad. We've got a yellow, which which goes with this. This next one is kind of an oddball, but you know what? It's, oh no, it's full. A purple. So, but it's the same tone as the other colors. This is kind of like our dark color. But I think the Sharpies are darker and they weren't. Yeah, okay. I think we did pretty good. So I'm just going to push my cart out of the way. And close up the box. And, well, no, it's going to have to go out of the way. And let's get on screen. And I'm going to come zoom you in a bit. I always go the wrong way first. Okay, there you go. Now, what I do is I put these in order. This is where I do my choosing. I put them in, well, 
I'll do it here and then move it over. I put it in the order that I think they'll look good. So, um, let's see how different these oranges are from each other. So that one is really dark and this peach is really light. Okay, so we'll have those two together. So I'm going to have my oranges together. Where are we? Here we go. And then I need to have, should I put, okay, I'll put the yellow gel pen next. Then let's go with the, the blues. Okay, so this one is very dark. That will look nice next to the yellow. And then this is turquoise and then purple. The purple might actually look good next to the blue. So let's put that there and then the turquoise and then the green. And now I have to make sure that I like where this and this is because as I'm going through them, this will come after this. So I like it. That is the one choice I do, but I don't always lay the colors down next to each other. So, the one thing that's going to happen with this, which is different from any, any pattern I've done in this book before, is that there is a line that runs through the whole, the whole pattern as like a line going around everything, but also kind of like as the background. So I will be doing that line in black and I will, I'll do it. I don't want to do it first because then we're going to waste our time just looking at black. So I'm going to have to be careful that I don't color it. And uh, when I'm done with you today, I won't fill in the black because I'm, if I don't, I'm bound to end up coloring it in with color. I can go over that, but it would be a little tricky if I went over the... Uh, if I went over the gel pen. So I've got myself a glass of Diet Pepsi. I wrote um, the company that holds, well let's start. I wrote the company that um, makes Diet Dr. Pepper and told them that I could not find it anywhere in my city and what was going on, where was it? And I haven't heard back from them, so there's a good chance they could care less. Now what I do, I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing, there we go. Now what I do is I place down this color in three places. The top left hand corner over here and then over here so that I get it started. Now here I've got another shape that's the same, a wheel. It's a little different than that one, but I can do the ins and outs. Now if we look around, are there a lot of these? There's another one. It's half of one. Okay, sometimes when I find that there's a same element on a page, I'll color all of them the same color. It's all sorts, <laughs> all sorts of things that I do when I'm doing a pattern. But I guess if I tell you my thought process, it might give you some ideas when you come across a pattern or even a mandala. For mandalas, um, I usually just hand uh, randomly pick five. Um, five permanent markers and that's it. I don't usually put a gel pen in it. It's not unless I get a, unless I get like a great big full page mandala, like quite intricate, then I'll pick, then I'll do the same as what I did here, five, uh, five markers and two gel pens so that I'm working with seven colors. Now, um, there was this one hiding here which I can do part of. And then there was one over here. 
So, it's hard to think back for the week, but I know that on Monday, I just didn't have anything to say. So, I thought, well, that's okay. I'll just wait until Tuesday, and then I'll log in with something. And so Tuesday came around, and I had a really bad day. Really bad day. And Wednesday, uh, Wednesday came around, and I was having a really bad day again, health-wise and personal-wise. Oh, look at this. This one doesn't end out evenly. I hate it when that happens. And personal-wise, just things, you know, accumulating. Not anything in particular that I would talk about, but, you know, I mean, not the end-of-the-world stuff or life-threatening, so no need to worry. Okay, so I've got those. Now I'm going to do a little bit of this color over here. And I think I'll do the same thing, but with uh, with these um, kind of like long spokes. I'm going to have to be moving you around. So then on Wednesday, my uh, therapist called, and we had our session on the phone because uh, she works out of my doctor's office. And um, that office is closed until further notice. They're not, they're not jumping ahead of the game of having doctors actually in there. There's some emergency staff that uh, for giving you needles that you need and whatever. There's some emergency staff, but those are the nurses that are doing that. So. Otherwise, you just go to the hospital if it's an emergency. And you're not advised to do that either because they're busy enough as it is. So anyway, she called me and uh, I, I had planned to log in yesterday because that was Wednesday. I had uh, after in the afternoon, but uh, after. I talked to her and ended up spending the whole time bawling my eyes out to her. So, <laughs> when that was done, I definitely was not feeling like chatting. So that kind of wrecked my Thursday. And, I mean my Wednesday. And now it is Thursday. And I have been kind of putting this off. I've made a list. You know, let's take a quick look. It's, it looks like it has a lot of stuff on it, but it's really only like sentences. <laughs> Unless I can elaborate on the points. <laughs> but anyways, I just finished watching the playback of Grace's live stream I'm not sure if it was this morning or if it was yesterday. But anyways, it's her latest. So I'm using this color to fill in the colors between my orange. So I just finished watching that. And earlier, watched a couple of things before. No, you know what? I didn't. I think I started watching Grace last night, so it must have been yesterday that she did the live stream. Yeah, so that's the only thing I've watched today. And then, so I thought, okay, get your crap together, Nikki, and get over there. Because I like doing this. Once I start doing it, I'm fine. It's just the it's just the getting on here when I have nothing to say. If I have lots to say, then I'm fine. But we know how boring my life is generally. And since my son and my husband aren't 
going all over the place. They don't even have stories for me to retell <laughs> of things that are going on or whatever. Oh, speaking of my son, though, um, yesterday, well, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, so that would have been Tuesday. On Tuesday evening, he went to the store all by himself for the very first time. So we were really, really, really proud of him. He has never, he has never done that. It's been a really, really hard time to occasionally make him be the person who goes up to the counter, but he usually just won't so, I mean, He's 20 years old, and if he refuses to do something, there's nothing you can do. You can't stand there goading him on like you would a little kid. Go on, go on, come on. You say, you know, you can't do that to a 20-year-old man. So if he says he's not going to do it, he's not going to do it. But uh, finally, something happened to him, which was enough to make him go to the store all by himself. No, it's no big deal with walking. He walks plenty of places. It's standing in line, and I know what it's like because it's it's just the same for me. I have the I have the same thing. I get anxiety when I'm standing in line. I'll start repeating in my head over and over what I'm gonna say. You know, like usually when they ask you questions, it. Eh, I will go up and answer the questions before they've asked them <laughs> so that I don't have to have a conversation with them. Like um, when I go to the doctor's office, I'll go up there and I'll say, my name, I have an appointment with so-and-so, I don't have a cough or a cold and all my information is the same. Because that's what they ask you. They'll say, do you have a cough or cold? Like this is in normal times. And then they'll say, has any of your information changed? So I answer that, and I, they know by now that I do that. <clears throat> Occasionally there's a new person on. On Oh, I just filled this one in. Sorry. I'm going to have to move around. I don't want to back you up because then you, you won't see this as well. Okay, so I've got this kind of, let's take a look and see if, we, is this, if this is yellowish or goldish. Okay, it's um, definitely yellow with a hint of green in it. So, where can I put this? Oh, it looks like I can put it around everything that I've got started so far. So, we will color in this. So, this makes the pattern go by faster for me if I uh, am working on it from three, three, separate, three separate parts. Well, it's more than parts now because I found those circles, but sections. So, yeah, um, I just like say over and over in my head, you know, what I'm going to say. And, um, and then, you know, I'm like, I keep, I keep checking to make sure I have my bank card, you know, I'll check. I'll be fine. I'll check. I'll be fine. So I keep doing that. And I keep saying my pin over in my head over and over and over. Until sometimes I've said it so many times it doesn't sound right anymore. And I'm all confused. So anyways, I'm sure that he goes through some of the same sort of things. So I know how hard it was for him. But there was a very, very serious case that happened that made him go, is that his dad was at work, it was evening, and the batteries in his mouse died. And so he went to get some batteries, and we didn't have any. And he was using his PC because he was gaming. So he couldn't use the little thingy. And he was kind of, you know, going around and saying stuff to himself and, you know, getting all upset and all that sort of stuff. And then he came to me and 
told me about the battery situation and he said he was going to the store for batteries and like I'm, I'm okay like okay <laughs> that's fine and I didn't believe it that he would actually do it but he did and then when his dad came home from work we told him and we were just he was just as shocked as I was so just goes to prove that you know if you've got a autistic kid who's um, high functioning well I mean he's not high functioning but you know I mean he's functioning and uh, and he's, he's intelligent, he just has problems expressing that. Well, that, you know, you leave them, once, once they're grown up, you have to leave them to their own devices in many, many things. And your role of parenting is over, but you know, in some things you have to parent them, and in some things you don't. It's it's a, it's a tricky situation. Sometimes I think it's it was easier when he was a kid. But finally, left to his own devices about the store. We haven't we haven't bugged him about that in ages. It was just something that he wasn't gonna do, and. You know, after all this time, we just didn't really expect that it would be something he would do. So, left to his own devices, he eventually had to do it. So now we're going to add the purple in, so we're going to be getting some color here. Now, first thing I noticed was that my line out here is part of my black outline, so I have to be careful about that. So I think I'm going to do this inside part here. Now I have to check and see. Okay, so I can work on this one. So those are the things that happened up to now. Since I haven't been logging in with my vlog, I've been spending a lot of time filming flip-throughs. Excuse me, I need another drink. I should have put some chapstick on because that helps me, it stops me from, well it just helps with the dry mouth syndrome. Okay now this has got dots, it has dots in it so I just colored over them when I was using the gel pen but now I'll put them back in with the purple. Yeah, so I've been uh, filming all the stuff that I hauled last month for June, filming it. I like to, I like to um, do flip-throughs of things before I show you my haul. But part of me wondered if what would happen if I, as the books came in, if I did flips. Well, no. See, I don't want to do that because if if the book if the books come in and I do a flip then you're gonna know what my haul is and it's not gonna be a surprise I'd just be showing you all the books that you've already seen a complete flip through of so I can't see that making my haul any interesting any interesting making it interesting now I don't know if this is Whoa, this is like barely there lilac. Let's see. I'm just holding it up to my light to see if it'll sparkle. Yeah, it sparkles. I need to put this light on too, though. Okay, I'm going to do it in a few places and I might. S well, that would be cheating if I switched it out. No, I mean, it's a color. It's just way light. Yeah. 
That's okay. So that's that shape because around it is my border. So we're coming down here. Let's see. Okay, that puts all these on. So yeah, I mean, I was going to ask you what, which way you think I should do it, but no, I, I know which way. I'm going to keep doing it the way I do because then you, you know what books are going to be flipped. Well, if you had wanted one of them to be flipped in particular, you would have asked me and I would have done that first. And you kind of know what books are going to come up and then, you know, you get to have a look inside of them. See, this is just where this color isn't going to be so great. But I don't know. I think that once it has the other colors around it, it will it will show up better. I don't even know if you can see it. So yeah, that's what I've been that's what I've been doing regarding the channel because I like to do make sure I'm doing something for the channel every day you know it doesn't have to actually be on air time just doing something towards it because you know it needs to be uh, what's the word I'm looking for nurtured <laughs> yeah maybe maybe that's the word Okay, so I'll talk about a couple of things that uh, people have asked me and um, that I will do, but um, not, not with this sitting for sure. As somebody said that uh, they wanted to talk about how to color snow or winter scenes. Now, um, I guess I could tell you what I do because it's really, really easy what I do. And I do the same thing for pencils and for for markers. And maybe down below in the comments, you guys, we can we can talk down below what, how you color snow or winter scenes and uh, kind of share your knowledge with everybody. So this person that asked... Um, we'll get the, the whole community of my channel's uh, response to this question. So what I do is, and I mean it's really simple, is if I'm doing if I'm doing um, snow, I will get the lightest blue that I have. And that's a blue that is so pale that it barely leaves any pigment on the paper, but it just, just visibly leaves, leaves the color there. Now, I do the same thing for clouds, except for clouds I use gray. And, and then, oh see, and this one doesn't work out even either. You know when that happens. So let's say there's a uh, snow on tree limbs, you know, there's a pile of snow on each tree limb. I would color that pile in with my lightest blue, very, very pale blue, either pencil or marker. And then I get my white, whatever white I use to cover up black lines. And for me, that's the uh, Sakura Decorez. But uh, you use whatever it is you like to use. Posca, Jelly Roll, whatever your favorite white is. And then I go over the lines. And I did. Here, I'm just going to get it because the book is right behind me. Okay. Okay, a couple of steps. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to roll over there, but I had to had to get up and do a couple of steps. But 
I'm here. Yay! Made it. I'll show you one that I did in here, and I got a lot of, um, a lot of feedback from it on, um, Instagram and on, um, Facebook groups that I put it in. Jade's, uh, I put it on the Jade Summer, uh, page too, and Jade Summer actually commented on it, and that's the only time. <laughs> it's the only time that Jade Summer itself commented on one of my pictures. So it's a complete, well, it's the um, Inuit picture in here. With the igloo and the ice and snow picture. Ah, here it is. So, I'm going to zoom you in. Well, if you can see... I'll just show you the top part right here. So the, t the sky is blue. And then I came to these snow mountains. And I used my white over them. I colored it in gray. And then the igloos here. I wanted them to be a different color of white than the mountains. So I made them kind of like a cream. By coloring them in with, my, with the gray again, but I outlined them with a yellow, and that kind of makes the igloo look a bit yellowish. And then I came down here for the snow, and there, well, the ice thing right here, and I outlined every single line with, okay, yeah, with white. I did that all around here, and then I had this big patch of snow here. Um, I just covered that with, um, Wink of Stella Clear, so that it sparkles like snow. So, I don't know. The, I can't ever make anything sparkle on this channel, so. <laughs> Here, I'm lifting up both books. Let's see. Nope, not that light. Yeah, I don't know. I can't make anything sparkle, but that's how I do snow. I just I just color the, the thing in. Now you can also, and I do the same thing with pencils, except I color it in with my faintest, lightest. Look at the work I'm doing in this, this month. Isn't that great? Those are all buddy colors. Thank you to my coloring buddies. So yeah, um, with pencil I get my absolute... Uh, faintest blue, which um, so far is a Prisma. I forget what color it is. And, well, so if the set of pencils I'm using, I don't like the lightest blue they have, it's not light enough for me, I'll go get my Prisma because they have a really, really light blue. And... Let's just have to do this little line right here, and that bit's finished. So that's all I do. It's like nothing, nothing special. And for a whole winter scene, I would cover up all the, all the black lines with white. And then I would go about deciding where, um, where I was going to color in. And, you know, you can use other cut like blue, and I use blue when I'm coloring in water, because I do water the exact same way. If, um, if I have a scene that is water, I will cover up the lines with white, or sometimes I have a pale blue in those, um, Sakura colors. So I'll use that, and if you're using Posca, you can use the light blue. Uh, I don't, I don't have very many, um, jelly rolls, so I'm not sure if they have a pale blue. But if they do, you can use that to cover your lines. You don't have to always color your lines with white. You can use uh, any color as long as it's opaque and it'll cover your lines. You know, use that to your advantage. So yeah, um, how do you color snow or winter scenes. Um, let us know in the comments. 
and feel free to chat with each other down there too. So the other thing that I was asked to do, and I just want to, I just want to mention it because I'm not doing it right away, is somebody wanted to see me do Tomislav Tomic with pencils, and uh, I have no problem doing that. I just have to be in the mood to do really intricate coloring. If I'm doing intricate coloring, I do use my pencils. Like, I use my pencils in Thomas Love Tomic, and, um, I have somebody else that's really intricate. Eh, I don't know. I can't remember at the moment. I use my pencils in all my Eerie books, and they're not intricate, but they're very detailed. Especially this new Romantic Country 3. <laughs> And so is her latest book, the World Heritage one. So you can see I'm just going around and filling in the patterns as I go here, working on, because this one here, this is a mandala, and it goes right out to here, so I'll be busy working on that for a while. And here, I've done that little shape, and I'll be going around doing these other shapes. Same with over here, shapes on top of the mandala. Where are we? There we are. And this one here is in a section that has a whole bunch of shapes. And same with this. So yes, um, one of these days I will, uh, one of the things I will be doing is coloring out of Tomislav Tomic. And I will be using a set of pencils. If anybody has a, a re requested set of pencils you'd like me to use, then go ahead. I have, oh my goodness, I don't have a lot. Well, I just bought the Crayolas, and I'm not using those in Tomislav. So, um, the Artezas are my second newest ones. I have the Prismas. I have Derwent's Color Soft. I have um, hmm, Black Widows. That's it. That's what I was trying to think of. I have the Black Widows. Oh, and I cannot wait to get the new set. It's called. If if anybody doesn't know, um, the new set is called Monarch. And there's 48 pencils in it. Um, the name Monarch, like everybody assumes that that is the Monarch butterfly, but it's not. It's, um, it refers to an old painting, uh, a famous painting anyways, by a British painter. I, I can't remember his name because I don't know who he is. But he did this famous painting called Monarch of the Glen. And I'm pretty sure I've seen it. And it's got a great big um, stag in it. And um, <clears throat> Monarch of the Glen is kind of like a Scottish saying for um, king, king of the, you know, I guess we could say king of the forest. But, you know, a glen isn't a forest. It's more of a, I don't know, if it's a valley or if it's like um, a flat plain, it's a part. It's a piece of land. That that's as much as I know. Any um, British or Scottish um, watchers down there, maybe you could let us know what exactly is a glen, because there's a there used to be a show on TV, a Scottish show called Monarch of the Glen, which I used to really like. I didn't watch a lot of it, but I'm sure I saw a few seasons of it. I wouldn't mind watching it again. I think it's a long show, though. Uh-oh, is this going to run out on me? That would not be good, especially halfway through this thing. So if that happens to me, if I run out of a color and I'm near the end, I just work without it. If it's right at the beginning, 
then I uh, I look for a for a, a duplicate. Uh, you know, I look I look in my back stash to see if I have one to re one to replace it, or I'll just find a color that's similar. I don't know. This just doesn't seem. Well, it felt like it was drying out there, but it doesn't now. It just doesn't feel very juicy. But you never, I never know with these ultra fine sharpies. They're not my favorite. But I don't have that many ultra fines. I only have the Bix, um, the sharpies, and the. Uh, the Shuttle Arts and um, Walmart doesn't sell um, pen and gear stationery here. They don't sell the any of the pens. We've got, well, I shouldn't say they don't sell stationery here. There have been a few things like um, computer paper. Um, my husband picks them up that had pen and gear on, name on it, but um, they don't sell the markers. And I looked online to see if they sold them online at Walmart, but they don't. They don't sell the regular, well, what they do sell is a set of 36, which has, um, uh, what is it, 9 times 6 is 36, is that right? Okay, so yes, it's 9 times 6 is 36. Is it 9 times 4? Oh, God. I can't do math on camera. <laughs> Whatever it is, there's that many different colors in it. And then it fills up the thing with duplicate black, blue, and red. Oh, you've got two of each color. And there's like seven colors in there. So you get two of each color. And then you get a whole boatload of blacks, blues, and reds. Until you've got 36 pens in there. That is the only... And those are fines, too. Those are the only... I've lost where I am. Oh, here we go. I've lost... See, I'm going to do this little thing in here. You probably can't see, but it's a tiny little space that I'm doing in here. Instead of doing the bigger triangle, because I see that my next color is the green, and it wouldn't show up as well in this, in this thing here. So I don't necessarily, even though I go in order with my pens, I just take the next one and I put it at the end. I take the next one and I put it at the end. That's just what I do. I don't always put it next by the color. I do, like usually that's my goal, but um, yeah, no, I do make, while I'm doing this randomly, I do make uh, individual choices. So it's a combination of totally, so I'm done that one. So now I guess I'll do this one. What was I saying? Oh yeah, about extra fine. Yeah, so there's absolutely no other brand that uh, I can get here in Canada. I've searched, I've searched Amazon forever and ever, and every now and then I go and search again in case something new has come up. I just wish that Shuttle Arts, they've got 60 They've got 60 permanent markers in fine. I wish they would up their extra fines to 60 as well. Right now they only have 30. Now if that's different in the states with the extra fines, could somebody let me know if there's more than 30 shuttle art extra fines? Because I may buy them from there the next time I, I buy from there. Okay, so once I've done this, I will have done a, I will have been through my colors once. Um, 
Yeah, well, let's put this color in. I don't really have a lot more to say. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to show you this. So, because I've talked about it, so. Anyways, a couple of days ago, I got this box. I mean, it's, uh, does it say how big it is? No, it's covered up. But, I mean, it's a... You could fit a hardcover book in there as long as it wasn't like one of the one of the tall ones. You could definitely fit a Stephen King paperback in there with lots of room. So you know it's a big it's a big box for you know something substantial. Well, you want to know what was in it? My pencil sharpener. <laughs> Can you believe that? Amazon always does that. I mean, I had, I, I, I've had like great big boxes with a tiny little thing in it. It just, <laughs> it just made me laugh. Okay, so I'm starting with this color up here. So I'm done that section. So I need to go over here. So yeah we'll be finishing up here and see if i have anything on my notes that, that i needed to say oh yeah this is what i wanted to talk about too is that um i re what i really really want to do and i've wanted to do it for a long time but for some reason, I just don't do it. Well, I think I kind of know why I don't do it. So let's talk about it. Um, water coloring in my coloring books. Now I have quite a nice collection of pan watercolors. Plus I have the complete set of um, Kuretake Ganzai Tambi, if you want to add that to it. Um, so I have a lot of watercolors. Um, I don't have, you know, like the expensive sets and stuff, but I have decent, I have decent stuff. So that's a good start. Plus I have a ton of nice brushes, which I haven't really used, but I have watercolored. Um, I used to use watercolor. Okay, so I'm done over there, over here. I used to use watercolor and when I did mixed media and that's what where I what I was doing before I was a, became a coloring channel. I um I mainly focused on on um mixed media. I did I did other things as well. I I hadn't really found an identity at that time. I was just doing whatever I liked. But I do come from a mixed media background and um done that for a, for a very long time. And, um, I'm saying, um, a lot. Don't say, um, don't say, um. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe I do that. Um, I do that a lot in real life, and I've kind of made sure that I don't do it on camera, but I did it once before, so. I'll survive if you know I make up little ditties to myself. So yeah, I know I know what I'm doing with watercolors to a point. Um, you know, I don't know finer techniques or anything because with mixed media, I'm like <laughs> doing a lot of splashing and washes, and I really, really, really like doing the wet on wet technique and making all sorts of different. Um, blobs and whatever um, and I can't do that in a coloring book um, it's going to be more fine detailed work so you know that's I'm not used to that but I'm not afraid of doing it I'm like eager ready willing and able <laughs> to do it I just can't get myself to do it and I think one of the reasons is because it's a hassle I have to get out my watercolors I have to set up the water, then I have to like make sure I have some paper towels and uh, you know just get set up and I have to do this in bed. 
okay? Because I can't sit here for very long. When I do, I, I hurt. But, um, you know, I always take a pain, pain pill before I sit down here and I sit as long as I can. And, um, you know, like right now my shoulders are starting to hurt again because, you know, they do. <laughs> That's what my shoulders do. They hurt. Because I have tendinosis in one and the other one is just hurting because of me favoring it. But, um, yeah. So it's just a little daunting because then once I get myself all set up, if I have to get up to go to the bathroom or, well, I guess that's the only reason I would have to get up. It's like, you know, moving, I have to move my tray and it's just a, I can just imagine it being a bit of a hassle. I suppose, you know, but in a way I'm using that as an excuse. There's just something in me that just won't make the dive to it. And I really, I, I so much want to do it. I, I watch people watercoloring in their, in their coloring books and it, it makes me want to do it even more when I do that. So, that is one thing that I would like to do. Maybe, 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 I just thought of this. Maybe I could set up everything and do it here on camera so that I got started and got into it. Then I could move the stuff over to bed. Maybe get, maybe get my husband to help me. Oh, sorry. Maybe get Mr. Niagara to help me um, a bit to, to get everything sorted, you know, get me settled. And then since I'd already started, I could keep going. If I end up feeling that it's too much, I could just leave my watercolor work to do on camera but then you guys would be seeing it all the time it would be the only thing I colored out of and I try to make sure I color out of something different every time because you know doing these vlogs I have the opportunity to do that I don't have to just sit here for an hour and a half and um, color one picture you guys can sit here and listen to me and see me working on three different things, you know? In that hour and a half. But I don't know. What do you think? Got any ideas for something that'll, you know, what do you think of my idea? Got any ideas of how I can make it easier to do watercolors while I'm in bed? You have any um, ideas? of things to get me motivated past the point of just wanting to and like absolutely doing. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're stuck at that point? That It happens to me all the time. Uh, oh dear. Okay. Well, we're, ba we're, we're back to using orange, which was the first color we started with. And I'm just going to finish this little bit here. And then I will see you next time. And let's see. Hmm. I did almost an hour. Wow. Was, I guess since I haven't talked for so long, it just, I was just able to ramble. So, yeah, I hope uh, my rambling was entertaining to someone. <laughs> so uh, this is what I did so far and I think it's going to look really nice. And remember these are all random colors. So I definitely if you have a hard time picking colors I definitely advise you to do the randomness and don't think about the colors at all. Just color. Alright so I'm going to log out and I'll uh, see you again. Hello, I'm back and logging in on Friday evening at 8 p.m. So I don't have any coloring planned. I do have a little bit of a teensy-weensy tutorial that I'm going to give. 
But first of all, I have a few things that I want to show you. On um, yesterday, <laughs> after I uh, after I did my uh, login on here, uh, after that, I had a really nice mail day. I got um, four books that I had ordered. Actually, I think it was three bo three books and a supply that I ordered came in the mail and then I got two other things and the first thing was this book right here Cakes and Candies by Color by Number by Sach and Sach Deva I received this as a birthday gift from one of my lovely subscribers now I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she wants it said or not so we'll just call her E and thank you so much E it was wonderful of you to uh, think of me on my birthday and I was uh, I was speechless <laughs> when I <clears throat> when I realized what was happening because you know, I go to open it, and of course I'm thinking, well, uh, why am I getting this? <laughs> and then I read your wonderful note, and it really touched my heart. So thank you very much for this. We will definitely be coloring in this uh, on, in the next vlog. I'm going to keep it out, and I may have already started in it by then, but I will do some coloring on camera with that. So just to let anybody else know that if you, uh, I, I'm not asking you to by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but my wish list is down below and if you do buy something off of that wish list for me and the ch when you buy it for me you're buying it for the channel, yes I want those things, but those are also things that we can use here on the channel. And if you do buy me a book or a supply, I will use it in, uh, well, I'll color in the book in, uh, on camera. And if it's something else that I can, I will use it on camera, like if it's a supply of some sort. So, um, yeah, so you'll know that that gift that she sent me was for my birthday. My birthday was Sunday. Now, when, you, when you're watching this, it'll be Monday, and my birthday was yesterday. But for me, here on Friday, my birthday is on Sunday. Just had to get my drink. I left it across the room. So, I got one more piece of mail and I don't know if you can read what's on here um, when I'm editing this we will be zoomed in you can read what that says and I decided to buy myself this for my birthday for myself uh, these are the Spearer Farben pencils. I, I only got the 72 set. I didn't see the necessity in paying extra for the, the new 96 set. I actually like 72 sets of colored pencils. They go into the smaller pencil cases, which are a lot cheaper than the bigger ones. And one thing I'm finding now that I've got more, uh, coloring pencils as I like to open up two sets of 72 in front of me and work from them and it's kind of nice to have the different selection of two sets of of pencil crayons rather than just working with a great big set of one brand but of course it goes without saying that I love working with my great big set of 150 Prisma colors so so, anyways, all I have done is I, I opened this, I 
opened the box, I took out a pencil, I did a little scribble on a piece of paper, I like was screaming inside with joy at how much I loved it, and I put it all back and I said, let's take a look at this on camera. So I've waited, and now we are, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at these. Now, these are special for me, especially because I only have one set of oil-based pencils, and those are the Brute Funners. Now, oops, upside down. I must have put it in the tin the wrong way when I put it back in. I have the Brute Funners, and those are a hard pencil. They're also um, very budget-friendly. The Sparer Farbens are uh, budget-friendly, but they're a little bit more than uh, some other brands. Uh, I think of them as a as a um, brand name pencil. So it says artist colored pencils, premium pigments, bright vivid colors, and I believe these are made in Germany. So we open it up and we have a hinged tin. This tells us about the artist who Renoir who painted this picture on here. And then we have a little note here saying thank you for purchasing the Spear Farben. I chose the best materials to assemble the perfect set. I hope the Spear Farben color palette will inspire you to create color and captivate your imagination. There are color charts on our website and feel free to tag your work, Spearer Farben, on Instagram. And then there's the Spearer Farben uh, blah, 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 social media information there. And then look at this. Isn't this nice? There's a piece of tissue paper that sits on the top of them like that. And then we have, oops, let me get my drink out of the way. My dry mouth is really bothering me today, so I need to keep sipping. So we'll get the trays out. Uh, try and keep it all on camera here if we can. Let's put this one there. Oops, there. And put this one maybe like that yeah okay you can see the barrels and there's no sense in taking that one out so i did order a pencil case to go with these but it won't be arriving until towards the end of the month so i won't be swatching these or sorting them out and using them for real until i have them all swatched and put away in their pencil case I just, that's the way I do it when I get new pencils. Now, first of all, just feeling across these pencils, they feel, they feel wonderful. Um, we can see that they're already set, ordered by color, so that's going to make it very easy for me to put them in my order. The only difference I will do is I will go red, orange, yellow, and then green, blue, pink and purple, browns, and grays. And there is no, there is no metallic here. Those are just grays. Okay, so there's three grays. That's nice. Okay, so let's take a look at one of these. It shows up nicely on red, I think. So let's take the last one here. That's the best way to get these out. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to hold it up like this, and I'm going to zoom in. So this is number 240, and it's called True Love. And then on the other side, it says Spearer Farben Excellent. Excellent. So I imagine that's excellent in... German. So, 
that's what's on them. Oh, it looks like I might have a broken lead because I see a teeny piece of a point here. There's a green point in my in my thing. So one of these greens must be missing. Oh, I think it's this one. Oh, and it's my favorite color, lime. Yes, it's missing its point. Broken off in transit, I assume. So, these are oil-based. I never finished what I was trying to say before. These are oil-based and soft core. So like I said, the only, the only set of oil-based uh, pencils I have are the Root Fooners which are a hard pencil and oil-based. These are oil-based and have a soft core. Now, I like soft core pencils, so that is what I'm looking for. So, I've got, whoops, I've got some paper here. This is um, Fabriano paper. It's an Italian paper for writing on mostly, but uh, it should be really nice for pencil crayons. So let's uh, do some swatching here. So I'm going to zoom you in here. Well, we're not doing swatching, but we're going to test some of these out here. So I'm not, this is light, light pressure. Look at that pigment, not even pushing. Look at that. Oh, these are nice. They lay down very well. Okay, now let's try an orange. These will need a little bit of a sharpen because they have, they are sharpened, but oh, this is a nice color. It's called bronze. Yeah, I guess it is that kind of a color. These lay down nicely and without any pushing. So let's try and do a blend. We're going to blend um, but let's do blue and red and see if we come up with a purple. So let's get Prussian blue and let's get that red back that I had. True love. Oh, let's use a different one. This one's called watermelon. So, let's see if I know what I'm doing to do a blend here. So, we will... Make our... Make our red. And we will... Make our blue. Oh my goodness, this lays down so nice. I know some colors lay down better than others. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and go on top of the red. I'm going to go back here. I'll go over the blue. Hmm. Don't seem to be getting a purple. Of course, I could just be doing this all wrong. Yeah, they don't seem to be giving us a purple. But, well, it is kind of. Maybe let's try that other red. Well, it's purplish. 
I don't know. Let's try. Let's try blending how I blend with the with the Prismos. And I guess it doesn't come with a blending pencil. Now I'm gonna see something light. Let's use a pink. This is called Carnation. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. This isn't what I meant to do. <laughs> Oh, they lay down so nicely though. I really like them. These are nice. You don't have to push hard. I'm just touching the paper. And the more you go over it, the darker it gets. Those are nice, but I'd be happy with just one layer of these colors. Very nice. So yes, I am going to have a lot of fun with these. And we will see them on camera. I think that I am probably going to color out of Romantic Country 3 with this set. And so that means that it will be towards the well, it'll be the end of the month or the beginning of October whenever that is around because if I get my pencil case on the 24th then I need some time to swatch them and I'm not going to do that on camera because the uh, this set of the Spirit Farbens is is old it's not new at all the uh, 96 set is the one that's new and that people will be swatching so you can easily look for a swatch of the 72 set of Spiro Farbens so here we go now I'm just going to take another sip so I'm having a very bad dry mouth problems. Now, a subscriber asked if I could show how I do my eyes. So, I am going to do that on here. So I thought I would just grab my chibi book and find an eye. There, that's, those are good ones, right there. And we will color in her eye. So, there we go. So what you need to do, I've shown you how to do this before, but um, it is, there's no problem in repeating it, and those of you who missed it the first time around will get to see it this time. So what you need to do is pick two colors, one lighter than the other one, and they don't have to be real eye colors. They can be any color that you want. So I'm feeling like some blue and purple, I think. So I'm going to take sky blue, and I'm going to take lavender. So, I'm assuming my lavender is going to be darker, or, you know what, let's not assume. Let's take a look here. Okay, so that is my blue, and I'm using the Smart Color Art markers here. And this is my, yeah, okay, so let's call the uh, turquoise, uh, I mean the turquoise, <laughs> the lavender as the dark color. So what you do is you take the, let's do this eye, it's the biggest. So you're going to divide the eye in half, 
And if it's really big like this, you can kind of go to three quarters. And you're going to draw your line across where the bottom half of the eye is going to be. And you're going to use your lightest color to color in. Oops! Almost forgot! <laughs> oh boy! I don't want to ruin my picture there. Um, my paper's right here, so I'm just grabbing it. There we go. There's a piece of cardstock. Okay, now we're safe. So color in the bottom half of the eye with your light color up to that mark. When you've got these big highlight circles, just to leave them alone. And now I keep the lids off because we're going to be working with these quickly. So keep it close at hand. And then use your darker color to color on the top half, starting at one side. And now we're going to come right down into the blue and we're going to start blending. So I'm going to start going over top of that blue there. Okay, now while it's still wet, grab your blue and blend back up. So you can't see your line anymore, but you can imagine where it is and then get your dark color. And keep doing this until you like it. Don't do it too long or else your uh, you'll tear your paper. Uh, but always end with the light color. If you end with the dark color, it seems to push back into the blue you don't and you don't quite get the same effect. Now we'll let that dry and we will have a shaded part in the middle there. Now on the other side there's only a titch of where this purple is going to go so I'm going to color that in and then we're going to start blending here and then the blue back up and the purple and keep doing this while it's wet so go fast and let's do the blue so then we'll end there and let it dry see we can we can see now that this eye is blended so the only thing really that's important here is to put the light lightest color if they're of even value which these pretty much are uh, it doesn't matter Pick which one you think is the lightest. Have it go on the bottom and keep keep switching out while it's wet so you have to go fast and uh, end with the light color and you'll have your blend. Now I'll just do this one over here without talking about what I'm doing. So you can just see me follow. Now this is a bit tricky here because the the line is in there so I'm I'm not quite going to be blending the same way so I can fill that all in that's blue and fill it all in so now I start blending and eventually you stop thinking about it you just and just do it. Three or four times. And I think that's where I'm going to stop. Now this side, I don't really have any purple, so I'm just going to start, I'm just going to start blending into the blue with the purple. And then we're going to make a little, a little blended spot. Okay, now this didn't quite work out well here. I have lost my purple. I blended too much blue onto it at the end. So let's get some purple back in there and shade it back out. I'm gonna go over the blue so that it's all even. Okay, there. 
so that is what you do that's how you make these eyes now I just want to blend this in here <laughs> okay you know whenever you do something on camera it never works out properly so just don't worry about my faffing around with it afterwards here but there you go there's our blended eyes now we could do it one more time with let's find another girl with good eyes Oh, he's got great eyes. Okay, let's do red and yellow. Okay, so let's do this one here because we will really be able to see on this one. So the white thing isn't in the way too much with this one, so we'll go across. Now I've basically done the three quarters thing on this one. And then we are going to do the red on the top and I've forgotten to put my card my card stock down again okay, good thing I didn't ruin my picture and now we blending into that it's wet back up And then I think we are done. There we go. And blend in. And back to yellow. Yeah. Up. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Isn't that what I'm doing anyways? <laughs> there, that's good. Now, I'm going to do one over here. So, I'm going to do the light side over here. Yes. And to the dark, I went out of the lines a little bit there with that red. Oh well. I'll cover it up when I get to this picture. Okay, so blend in. Blend up. I don't need a lot of the dark color, so I'm pushing up when we're doing light color into that. And I think we just need a little bit more red. And there. Now let's, oh, this red really bleeds. It's going out of the lines on this eye here too. Okay, so blending, blending, yeah, unfortunately that yellow, that red is really blend, is really bleeding. So, oops, wrong one. That is how you do the eyes. These aren't examples of my best work because, of course, I'm on camera, so it's not going to work perfectly. So, I hope that helps those of you who are wanting to be able to do your eyes like this. Um... I think that's probably all I'm going to do today and since it's Friday this is probably my last day of uh, logging in if something uh, of of note happens tomorrow I will come on again 
but I'm going to close up now because this probably is the end. So one thing I want to ask you and is that is to uh, put any questions you have down in the comments below. If you have questions about anything that I have said in this vlog or if you have any questions to me about me or about what I color or what I use, um, feel free to ask that. If you would like to see me color out of a specific book, then please let me know. If you would like to see me color or use a certain uh, supply, I will color with those pen markers or pencils. And um, if there's any other kind of supply that you know I have, you've seen me haul or something, and would like to see me work with it, then just ask. The more things that you put in the comments of asking me to uh, do or use things or just questions that I can answer in, um, give me a theme to talk about in the next in the next uh, vlog, it, it helps me, it, give me, it gives me uh, content on here. Instead of me making all the choices of just picking out the books that I want, I'll color in the books that you want. So here we are, it is Sunday and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'm the only one up and I've been up for quite a few hours. I thought I would just log in and add a little bit here to my vlog. I think that I said number seven here. So what I'm working on is uh, I have I have all these uh, display books or presentation, whatever they're called, and I've put the put the um, extra pages that my sister sends to me in here. But I've got to start labeling them so I know. So I don't have to leaf through every single binder. So I was going to work on that with my label maker. I have, uh, I just have the basic model. It's the Dymo Letra Tag and uh, you just turn it on. You can, there. you can, uh, it's been a while since I've used it here so let's, <laughs> I hope I can do it. You just type in what you want. You're able to change your your letter sizing and the style and in a few other things here and there. Um, I am just going to change the size. I don't need to. It's already set at extra small. I don't need these to be large. So I'm either going to put the, uh, the book's name or the author's name, whichever will grab my attention the most, so I'm most interested in knowing that this is by Alina Lazareva, so I'm going to write that down. The only problem I have with this is that it is ABC format and not QWERTY. I would, um, I can't talk when I'm typing, that's not going to work, is it? Am I able to do this and do a chat. So then I push print and it comes out here and I push this and it snips it and that is our very, very tiny extra small and then the tape that's in it you fold it in half and it's two it's got two little covers on it. You don't have to fold it in half as much as I did there that it causes a crease but then you have your tiny little label, which is very sticky, and I'm just going to put them on the spines like that. So if I get two books into one, I'll put another one down here. These are only only hold 40 pages, and I get them from Dollarama for two bucks. But every now and then I I buy off of Amazon.com. They have this guy who gives you a two-pack of ones that hold 120 pages for 20 bucks Canadian. So that's pretty good.
So, the first things, oh, I don't want to do that one. First thing is, is I just wanted to mention that um, yesterday morning when I got up, and I was up early enough that I was able to catch Kate in um, Kate's, oh no, I've done it, done it again, Kate's Coloring Haven, there we go. Uh, I was able to catch her live stream, and so I participated in that. I have never uh, caught her live before. So yeah, I, I've already written on, this is one of the big ones that I was telling you about that holds that many. I've already written on there. So yeah, that was really, that was really um, exciting. To, now, these next, I've got quite a few in here that are by Dia. I think I've turned it off now. There we go. Turns off if you don't use it. So if you're going to print out labels that have the same thing on it, all you have to do is keep pushing print. So I've got several here that are by Dia. So that was really nice. I really enjoyed being able to uh, participate in her live stream. It was uh, interesting because I didn't know anybody in the room. So just goes to show how how big and wide our uh, coloring community is because you know there's people up at hours that are not up at that I'm usually not up at or at least online at and there's a whole bunch of people there that I don't I don't even know so yeah so today is my birthday yeah, it's my birthday day, and uh, nobody else is up yet, but we don't do big things for for birthdays around here anymore, so we will see what happens. My husband's birthday is exactly seven days away from mine, and usually, now this is by the same person, so I'm just going to push print again, so... We usually go out for dinner on the weekend, that's between our birthdays. And there isn't really one this week because my birthday is on a Sunday and his birthday is on a on Saturday. Well, I guess that would have meant we would have went, went out for dinner on Friday night, but the restaurants aren't open here yet and even if they were, we wouldn't be frequenting them yet at this time. So, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure out something. But, the reason I came on here was I wanted to ask you guys how you feel about if I gave you a coloring challenge. Because when I was uh, in mixed media, I did a lot of challenges. I participated in them, but I also made my own. And um, I've been doing that like ever since, oh my goodness, like two decades ago. <laughs> I had a little jar of prompt, of prompts and I would pull those out and then I would uh, do it on my blog and, uh, you know, people would follow along. But I was just thinking of doing things like doing colored, like easy things, not, not authors or publishers or colored same picture or anything like that. These would be ones where you could color your, um, you could color your, um, whatever picture you wanted. And then that month I would have a challenge going like, we're going to use this specific color palette, or we're going to do all shades of blue or we're going to do a fire and ice page or, you know, and whatever kind of stuff that I can uh, come up with. Maybe have one, maybe have one for each month and, you know, take a break every now and then. So, so that it's not like every month, but, you know, I guess it all depends on how, uh, how interested anybody is. Because if nobody's interested, then it would just be me doing it. Of course, I could just say that I was doing it, and you could join in if you wanted to. <laughs> so that's my way of doing it, whether you want to or not. But um, I just wanted to see if there was any um, any interest in that kind of thing. So, like, let's say I said in September, 
And my challenge to myself and to you is we are going to color a page using only shades of blue. You can use any media you want, you know, any picture you want, but we're only going to use blues. So that, that's how it would be. That is not the challenge, okay? That was just a made-up one. So that's what I uh, wanted to ask you guys if you were interested in. So I'm going to say goodbye now because I've got to take this over to the computer and start uploading and, and um, you know, all that nice stuff, editing that you have to do when you're done with the fun part of talking. So um, I think I are already... Um, said goodbye properly at the last one so I'll just say a quick toodaloo right now so toodaloo and I will see you you will see me uh, on Monday you'll be watching this on Monday so see you then bye bye